Hey Foxy Planners, Bethany here with my 2018 planner lineup. I have actually just three planners, but one is a notebook that is paired up with another planner. So I'm going to show you inside of all of these uh, adorable planners and kind of tell you how I plan on using them for the coming year. And um, I'm hoping that I can stick with um, this uh, fitness planner. Uh, fitness planner it's kind of like I'm trying to find something that works. Um, I want to go more in depth basically with my fitness planner. So let's go ahead and just start with that since I'm, I'm already talking about it. Uh, so I decided to, to go with the Recollections Fitness Planner Mini. I think this would be better for me. Uh, last, or I should say this year, I tried using a uh, bullet journal technique and it just took way too long to set it up. Um, not very practical for me to use it a bullet journal for a fitness planner. It did not work and I reverted back to my notebook. Um, I have been using the notebook, I, I, I'm going to call it a notebook technique. I don't know if it's actual a thing or not, but it's just something that I do. Uh, I write, basically I have a list and let me, let me show you. There's got to be notebook paper in this, right? Yeah, okay. So, for example, I would list all the exercises that I have, and then I'll have little dots at the top to show each set that I did, and then I'll write down my numbers, <clears throat> basically. And that's great and all, but it doesn't motivate me to stick with the working out. I've been doing pretty good. I've been better this year than, than last year. Last year... Even though, technically, right now, in the holiday season, I haven't worked out much at all. I'll be honest, I haven't really done much um, since, I want to say September. So, uh, it's been a while. But, I want to have a planner set aside just for fitness. And, I want to go more in depth. I don't want to just list the exercises I do and how many I do it. That's important. But I want to go just a little bit further than that. And that was my idea behind the bullet journaling. I wanted to record more than just the exercises and how many I did and what weight I used. Um, I do use weights. Um, so it's important for me to track uh, the weight I did and how many times I did it and how many reps I did. Um, or sets. I should say sets. So... I sat down and really thought to myself, okay, what went wrong with the bullet journal system? The number one reason is it took too long to set up the boxes and everything. So fair enough, I got a, a planner that has the boxes already laid out for me. There, there's, there fixes the problem, hopefully. Fingers crossed, it fixes the problem. But another thing is I wanted to track too much. I wanted to track my mood. I wanted to track... Um, not only hyd uh, hydration, but um, just 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 too much, and I had to set each and every single page, which looks great. I just didn't have the time set aside to do that. Um, so let's move on to the to the inside. So I did choose the recollections. Um, I could have gone with the happy planner one, but I don't want to focus on meals just yet. I want to track just a little bit more than what I've been doing in my notebook and maybe next year I will once I get used to this system hopefully I will want to start tracking a little bit more which um, for me would be the the uh, what I'm eating in the day my meals and stuff so that to me is a next step up um, so here's the title page here's a year at a glance um, I'm not sure what to do with this in a fitness planner, so any ideas, you guys, I'm open for them. The only thing I can really think of is goals, but they have a separate um, goal planning pages here. So I'm not sure what to do with the yearly ones. Um, so here is a few goal pages which I like, and the 30-day challenges was a plus for me because I do want to start doing a few 30-day challenges, and this planner allows for eight of them. I would like to see 12 maybe in the future. Um, that way you can do 
one each month. I, I think that would be even better. Um, so there is the 30 day challenges tracker and I love that. Love, love, love it. Um, and just a blank note page. And this is undated, which is nice because you can start this anytime you want, which is um, perfect. Uh, I just decided to wait until January to do this because I know December, not much is going to happen as far as fitness goes uh, with all the dinners and stuff that I have planned. Um, here's the monthly layout. Again, I have no idea how to use a monthly layout in a fitness planner so again any ideas I'm open to those okay so there's there's uh, well there was two reasons why I really settled on this planner one was the 30-day challenge tracker which I thought was a nice touch and the second one is uh, you can track the hours of sleep I thought it would be really neat to see the correlation between how well I did in my workouts and how well I slept the previous night so, I thought that'd be kind of something to, to uh, try out. And of course, you have your uh, water tracker here. And I think that this is enough room for me to um, write down my exercises, write down how many I did and the weight and everything. I, I, I'm pretty sure this is plenty of space for me to do that. Um, oh, I guess the third reason why I did uh, choose this planner, I almost forgot this had it is this a uh, healthy habit tracker system which I like and I like the fact that I can change it because once a habit becomes routine I can I don't have to track it anymore it just becomes part of my routine my daily routine or weekly routine um, so I like this and I think that's plenty of uh, habits to track for a fitness planner as well um, and at let me see. Yeah, at the end of the the month, you have your goal reflections and achievements, and I like the little stars and stuff, which is great. Um, I, to be honest, I'm really, really having a hard time doing goals. Um, that's one thing I would like to um, improve this year. Last year, I had a, I had bought a goal planner, and it did not work out for me. It was I, I think I just overwhelmed myself last year with all the different planners and stuff. So I really did limit myself this year to kind of help me introduce one thing at a time. And I thought this year a fitness planner would be perfect because I'm already doing that in a notebook format. So I thought it would be easier for me to transition into the planner format. So uh, I guess I can show you the different tabs. Did I show you that one? Um, they're really, really cute. I'll just quickly go over them. If I'm going too fast, you can always pause the video. <clears throat> and sorry if uh, my voice is off. I think I'm coming down with something. And uh, ugh, I'm not looking forward to being sick. But I can tell I'm, I'm going to be sick soon. Um, I already got those precursors, I guess you can say, of being sick. So <clears throat> I apologize for all the noises and stuff that I'm doing. If, um, and then uh, some note pages. I'm not sure what I do with those, but they're there if I ever need them. And uh, it, this planner does come with one page of stickers. And they're really, really cute. I'm glad that they have the tabs here. And I like all these functional stickers, but to be honest, in a fitness planner, I would have liked to see more dumbbell stickers and, and more flags too, and, and things like that than just the checklists and stuff, because I don't know how I'll use that in this planner, but they're really cute. I'll probably end up using it in my business planner. Um, and then that's it for the fitness planner. So I thought that would be something new I can try this year. To kind of ease my way into planning and, and, if, and if this goes well maybe next year I can do the goal planner again try to revisit it okay so for my personal planner I decided to go with recollections again um, I have used the recollections all throughout this year even though I haven't really been doing a lot of videos here lately I know it's been months since I've done a video um, which is something that I am going to be working on I really miss doing videos I want to get back into it it's just a lot has happened at the end of this year, and I just haven't really felt motivated enough 
or had really time uh, to get back into YouTube. But I do miss doing YouTube videos. Um, so here, this is the planner that I chose. I, I like it. It's just simple. It's elegant. And it has the gold foiling for the 2018. But what, what really sold me on this planner was the dividers. Even though I don't really look at them. But it's nice that they're there. <laughs> you know. So uh, there is that. And I'll show you the inside of this. I like this. This make really good dry erase to-do list. Just, you know, temporary list. Here is the 2018-2019 year at a glance, which is nice. And I really do like the paper in the recollections. The important dates, important contacts. I like how they include that in their planners. And another thing that I liked in this year's planners is this yearly goals section. Really, really like this because I feel like I can write them all down and just kind of mark them out as I accomplish them, whatnot. Really, really good for short term and long term goals. Uh, but I really like the dividers in this one. It's really, really pretty. And um, I'm not much of a floral person, but if they're done right, I like them. And this was done right. This is how I like my florals. Um, watercolored, I guess. So here is the um, monthly calendar. Now for me and my personal planner, I don't really use this monthly layout other than just to track whenever my kids are uh, out of school and when report cards are due and progress reports, that things, that's about the only thing I put in my monthly. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe that will change. It's something I do want to learn to use in the future. Maybe use it for financing. I don't know. We'll see. Um, and then I chose the vertical layout. This is what I like to, um, this is how I like to plan for personal. Um, the top I normally use for check checklist, to-do list, that kind of thing. The middle is like appointments and, and other like events that are going on. And then the bottom I reserve for just a glance at my work day, where I want to be at during my work week, even though I have a separate, separate business planner. Um, I just kind of put the highlights here. Um, because I don't always look at both planners on the same day. So I want to have them in both places. Just, you know, just, just in case I don't look at my business planner one day. And I'm looking at my personal and vice versa. So um, that is the layout. And on the back, and just to show you, that, that blue is all throughout. And on the back, uh, these alternate. Here's This one is the blank page. So I'm going to show you all the tabs now. Here's February's, March. Love that one. See how that one's lined paper? And this one's the graph and it alternates. Here's April, May, June. This is my birth month. And this sheet really just sold me on this layout of the Recollections Planner. Um, it says, my motto is simply this. Just have fun, work hard, and be kind. Oh my gosh, is that not perfect for my birth month? Oh, so me. July. August, September, October, November, December, and then the notes section. And they give you quite a few notes pages. They got lines, blank, and then the graph that's through all, all throughout the end of the month. And here are the stickers that come in this planner. Here's some game day, party time, date night. Some blank appointments, um, happy birthdays, vacations, <laughs> like I'll be able to use those. Days off, probably will use those. But vacation, probably not. <laughs> Wishful thinking. And here's some more functional stickers. I really do like this. It says hydrate yourself. Oh, that's so cute. I really do like that. Um, even though I have a fitness planner, I'll probably still end up using the the hydrate stickers in my personal planner too because again I don't always look at all of my planners on the same day so you know um I like these big stickers here those those weekend banners are super cute love all the cute little sayings and little arrows and stuff and this one is my favorite page I like the weather stickers and I love all of these cute little icons and then in the back is a folder, which is really, really sturdy. I'm really loving the folder and 
my recollections planner this year and it comes with a plastic pouch too so I don't really use this so much because I, I don't want to really put pins in there or bulk up my planner too much but it's really nice if you do take this on the go and you can put some receipts or whatnot in it it's nice to have handy and then the back cover it's dusty don't worry about that I've had I had bought these a long time ago it's just I was waiting on my business planner to come in before I done this video <clears throat> Alright, so moving on to my business planner, and I kind of want to talk about the notebook first. This is my notebook. These are from Plum Paper. I've never ordered from them before, so I'm super excited to try them out this year. I really do think I'm going to love doing a Plum Paper for my business uh, planner. And I'll show you why, or I'll just tell you why right now. You can customize these very, very in-depth customization. I really do like that aspect where I can customize these to suit my needs. Um, let's talk about this notebook. This is just a plain notebook. They have add-ons and you can add up to a hundred extra sheets in the planner and the notebook. I'm not sure how they do it for their hardbound planners and notebooks, but for the spiral bound, I know it's a hundred sheets. Um, and look how thick that is. This is going to be perfect to pair up with my business planner. And I, I wanted things to look similar, uh, but not the same. So I thought I did a pretty good job matching these two up. So I know that these two go together for this year. So my brain dump notebook is exactly what it says. It's brain dump. It, this is where all my design ideas are going to go. All my rough sketches are going to go. Um, I do have a bunch on, in another notebook that I'm going to be transferring into this one because it's really thin. I've almost run out of room and I just wanted something thicker and um, bigger, basically. It's a little notebook about this size, so it's definitely not enough room for me, so I'm switching into this one. Um, and also, if you don't know me by now, I am a huge sticky note list pad fan. I have them literally everywhere. I, and I'm not joking, I have a pile of, here, let me just say, do it like this. I have a pile of like random sticky notes and list pads that are piled up on my desk with ideas for my business. I want to get them off of the sticky notes into here. I have not done that yet. It has been almost a year and I still haven't done it, but this year I'm going to do it because I designed this really, really cute notebook and I'm going to use it. Um, so, all it is, and uh, it does come with this special dates page, which I don't think I'm, and I, did I mark in that? I think I marked in that because I, I don't remember seeing that when I got it. Uh, in the mail. Um, so special dates and the ideas, plans, and goals. Now I might use this sheet for different category ideas that I have and you know I just had a thought in my brain. I wouldn't mind cataloging um, using a key and I have a hair sorry. Using a key that's a you know, I was just thinking about that. Using a key and number, numbering the pages, although that is going to be rough, numbering all these pages, but I think it'd be worth it. That way I can put them in categories and then index them here. Huh. I don't know. We'll see. But that's just a thought I had just now. All right, so I chose to do all the pages in the dot grid. I did add on 80 extra sheets of this dot grid to this notebook and it's super super thick and definitely not something I want to take out with me this is definitely going to be staying on my desk with my uh, business planner um, on hand so again I'm going to be doing rough sketches in here all of my ideas are going to go in here it's basically brain dump I mean I, I mean I can't think of any other way to say it um, and then I added another 20, or not another 20 sheets, but I added 20 sheets of these checklists sheets here. They look like this. And my thought was there are certain designs I want to have finished by a certain date. And I thought I can list them here, list the, the uh, events or um, 
uh, sometimes I do um, send out uh, like little samplers and stuff to other shops or planner meetups. I do those as well. I only do a couple a month. So um, I do have an opening in July or not July, but January if you're interested. Um, so just contact me through Instagram mainly. It would be the best way to do it. Or you can contact me here on YouTube underneath uh, this video would be a good place too. Um, so my idea is to just list those events, designs, whatever. And then up here I can put, I put step one, step two, step three, and, and that. And in the boxes I have tiny dates where I'm going to have to be, okay, here I need to have step one done, step two done on this date, that kind of thing, and just kind of check them off as I go. That was my idea for the checklist. Not really certain how well that's going to hold up. But I thought I'd throw those in there because I thought it was a good idea to kind of keep me more on schedule too. Okay, so let's move on to the last planner that I have, and it's my business planner. And I really, I like the, the clear covering, and the paper feels very, very nice. The paper is really, really nice. It's sturdy enough for it to sit on my desk, but I don't know how well it would hold up if you took it on the go. I'm not sure. Um, you'd have to, I don't know. I don't know. It seems thick enough, but the paper is really, really nice. Here is a 2018 year at a glance, special dates, ideas and goals. I probably end up putting my business goals in this section because um, I want this to be purely a business planner except for those really, really important things I need to do that may be personal. I will put them in here because, again, I don't always look at my personal planner every single day. And I also don't look at my business planner every single day. So I want to have those really important things that I cannot forget. In all the planners, I can put them in so that I won't forget. I mean, because I'm very forgetful. I am so forgetful. So I need to be repetitive so that my brain will remember. <laughs> Um, I really do like this page here with the goals, um, birthdays, events. I might keep that on here because I have made a lot of planner friends throughout the planner community. And it would be nice to kind of keep up with any of planner related events or any birthdays of my planner friends. Um, and things to remember that thing. And I do like how it has a sheet of notebook paper there. Um, here is the monthly layout. My idea with the monthly layout is to keep track of my business statistics, if I can say that correctly. Um, yes, I want to keep track of my numbers. I also want to keep more in-depth track of my paychecks or um, from my Etsy uh, paychecks. So I want to put not only when I get paid, but the amount I got paid. That way I can kind of look as an overview to see how the month went with my, my numbers and stuff. So I thought this would be a good uh, way to utilize that. Okay, so I absolutely love this layout for my business planner. Um, for those of you who don't know, this year I went with a Blue Sky planner. And let me just go get it really quick. I'll show you. Okay, let me turn to a unused here we go okay so let's compare this side first okay so um actually let me get it all in frame I'm actually downsizing this is the um eight and a half by eleven uh planner this is a personalized planner from um from Blue Sky Planners, and I, this works out really well. I absolutely love this layout. Um, my only beef is that these two are shared, whereas these are separate, which um, was one of the reasons why I switched to a plum paper, even though the size difference is pretty significant. But I find myself not needing as much room um, sometimes I do need this much room, but it's it's a sacrifice I'm willing to take 
for this year. I really do want to try out this size. Now, Plum Paper does make a bigger planner. However, the only downside is I cannot get this layout in their bigger planner. So, I really would like for them to make this style planner in their bigger ones so that I can have the option to get the bigger planner if I wanted to. Um, but for now, I think this will work out just fine. I just have to write smaller, even though it's really hard for me. But you can see they're very similar. I like how they utilize all the page here, whereas, you know, I don't, I don't need that. I don't need it. I don't need it. So I wish they didn't even include that and just included a separate one. Um, this is a great option if you don't want very many add-ons. Reason why and the major reason why I switched to Plum Paper is because they allow you to add a lot of add-ons to this, and the price is pretty comparable. I mean, um, and for the life of me, I can't remember how much I paid for this, but um, the prices are not that much different, even with the add-ons I had on this planner it was still comparable to this which uh, you get five free add-ons but they're not anything that and I'll show you the add-ons I did put in this one um, but they're, they're, they're just not nothing that they were just a perk to this not, nothing that like would I don't know it's hard to explain I cannot explain it I'm sorry um, let's compare these this side okay so you still have two sections here I like how this is just a checklist I, I it would be nice if I had the option to make like one or both sides a checklist as well um, but it's not necessary I can easily check it off or highlight it off whatever it's nothing groundbreaking uh, for me but um, but I think this is plenty of space, plenty of room, because I don't always, I don't literally go out this far that often. And um, I'm still going to have one section for the, the, the tasks I want to complete for that week. Um, and um, let me just put this aside for now. So how I use my business planner is I don't have like a set things that I have to do each and every day for for work. What I really do is I have a list of things I would like to accomplish in this week. Now there are certain tasks that I do want to do throughout the week and that's why this is here and that's why I can get away with one week on one page. Um, but mainly the tasks I want to do are here in this section over here. So I got a list of things that I want to do, but I don't have a certain day I need to do it by. This go here in notes, of course. If any thoughts that I have during that day, um, I, I'd like to put here. And then up here, I'm not sure what to do up here. I may just put some inspirational quotes up here to kind of, you know, something that I could read during during my work hours and just kind of pump me up maybe. Or maybe even track statistics here. And then once at the end of the month, transform here. That was a thought that I had. I'm just not sure about that top section just yet. But um, I really think this is going to work out very, very well for me. Even though it's much smaller than uh, what I'm used to. Um, and I, let me show you some add-ons that I added to this planner. Um, it does come with a, a back sheet of notebook paper. But I decided to add two extra sheets and have them dispersed through throughout the the year meaning every at the end of every month I'll have two extra sheets of notebook paper uh, this this is going to be separate from my brain dump this is going to be ideas I have for my shop this is going to I'm, I'm really wanting to write um, my thoughts of how well the month went in my shop if there's something I need to change improve on if there's something that I need to rethink about um, or even uh, I, I'm even thinking about any good reviews and things that I have some positive um, um, feedback and things like that will go in here as well because uh, I really really do appreciate all that um, all the reviews and positive feedbacks and I also respect the negative ones too um, 
because I, I really do when it, if I ever get a negative review um, I definitely go back and kind of rethink things and it's like okay how could I make this better um, and that kind of that kind of thing and I also added one sheet um, double-sided to a to-do list because this is a smaller planner than the one I am used to and there are those weeks where I'm going to need more than this I've done it even in my big planner I have had to bring in like a list pad or whatnot because I had so like my sometimes I have things to do but there's certain steps I need to do them in so I, I want to write each and every step out as well so I, that's why the notebook paper and the to-do list is back here it's just for extra cushion for me in case I have those really really busy weeks um, which does happen occasionally especially around the holidays all right, so I'm just going to show you the tabs, and I like how simplistic they are. They don't need to be fancy, especially in my business notebook or planner, but I, I do like they have, these are laminated tabs. I really like that, and I'll just show you the different colors and stuff that they come in. And I'm really super excited um, to use the Plum Paper planners for the very first time. And uh, the big, another big reason why I went with the Plum Paper is these add-ons are, they have so many add-ons, too many to choose from really, but I like that. I like the fact that I have a lot of options. Okay, so this is not set in stone. I mainly got this section because I'm really considering doing a shop blog. Um, I, I mainly I want a blog that focuses on my shop, like behind the scenes, featured um, products, uh, even planner community. It doesn't have to be all about my shop, but it has to be planner shop related, if that makes sense. That's the kind of blog that I'm thinking about here, and it's not set on stone. I haven't really been looking yet into the blog um, blog community, I guess. So it's just something that's on my mind this year, and it's something that I'm re I've been really wanting to do a blog for over a year now. I've been thinking about it, and I think it, maybe it's time for me to do something about that. Either I, I think this year I need to either make up my mind whether I'm going to do the blog or not, and then if I decide not to do it, then I just need to say, okay, I can't do it. Let's forget about it, you know. But I got this section in here just in case. You never know. It could be halfway through the year before I decide to to do this blog. Um, <clears throat> so here is a blog monthly overview if you're interested in what the blog sections looks like. Um, gives you post ideas, some goals to do, final post schedule, income, expenses, blog stats. And it, it's one for each month. So it's got 12 sections. And then here is a monthly task, which would be good, not only for blogging, but for anything. So I really do like this. So if I don't decide to do a blog, I can still use these sheets here, definitely. Some blog post ideas. And they give you a couple to-do list pages, giveaways and reviews, advertising and sponsors. Um, here is a blog annual planner, which I feel would be very handy for a blog and then this is the yearly uh, overview of uh, of the blog and stuff so <clears throat> and then the social media section is like and when I saw this I'm like yes 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 I needed this I need this so bad because I have been lax on social media and it's because I haven't really planned anything out. I'm just kind of winging it, you guys. I, I'm just, I just wing things. And I think it's not the best way to go about it. So I got this section hoping that it will help me out. So this is uh, going to be this year's social media, uh, my social media planner. And then, of course, it, you know, I like having it in my business planner. That way I can kind of flip back and forth. Oh, excuse me. Oh, this first sheet. And I've got hair everywhere. I'm sorry. It's my hair. <laughs> um, this is a posting guide, which is, is nice. I thought that would be kind of a, uh, I thought that was a cute idea that they added in there. And this is a 
social media overview like you can put your mission your key message your audience platform strengths and weaknesses and then um competition analysis i have no idea what that's for i mean i i don't know i'm not competing with anybody i'm just doing my i'm just designing my own thing and if people like it they like it you know uh i don't know what what to do with that section but i do like this top half here so I'm not sure what to do down here um here are three major social media goals and some monthly steps to achieve those goals and some daily steps to achieve them and then um, when you complete them which I thought was so so neat so I'm implementing small goals throughout my planners that's I think that will help me kind of get into a goal planner eventually once I get used to doing the smaller things first here is an overview by month I like how they keep this blank so you know, I can start any time of the year. So I thought that was really, really good. And they give you enough for 12 months there. Um, and then here is the bulk of it. Here, I mean, um, you'll see that it goes all the way. It's one for each month. I think this is, yeah. Um, and here is a two-page layout, which I like. I like how they break it down a lot for me. Um, the only bad thing is they don't have YouTube, so I'm going to have to find a way to put YouTube in here somewhere. Because um, YouTube is like the number one thing that I really want to get back into. I want to add more content to my YouTube channel. And I, I really want to think more about what I'm going to be doing on YouTube. I don't want it just to be playing with me. So I, want it to, I want to do other things too. That is planner related, um, but maybe crafty related too. Cause I, I mean, I'm a crafty girl. I love, I love to design things, but I also like to make things with my hands too. So um, here is, and it's blank again. You can brainstorm, and it has uh, room for five weeks, which is really good. Cause you know those months that have the five weeks on there would be handy. And then details, and then finalize any quick notes. I thought that was really good. And then here you can break it down by platform. To be honest, I'm probably going to replace this Pinterest with YouTube. Um, Pinterest, I uh, don't really, I don't, I mean, I have a Pinterest account, but um, I just don't know how to do print, pin, I mean, I know how to do Pinterest, don't get me wrong. It's just, I don't know what to, how to implement Pinterest with my shop, if that makes sense. But um, it's there, but I'm probably going to use this for YouTube because I, I, I really feel YouTube is more important than Pinterest for, for me personally. And then Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Facebook and Twitter I have a hard time with too, and I'm hoping that this will help me out. Um, so again, you got 12 months of that. And um, at the end of the planner, you have like login information and some um, a couple blank dot grid paper with passwords, uh, contacts, more contacts, and then U.S. holidays, and then a year at a glance 2019 calendar, which is nice. Um, they have a folder. It's not quite as thick as the recollections, but I think it will hold up just fine. Um, this is a smaller planner, so with my full my full sheets are actually bigger than this planner, so I'm gonna have to find a way to cut them down so that I can fit them in here. Um, and back to the blue sky one, the add-ons that I chose, you get five. So I decided to to add a bunch of the uh, daily schedules, and I'm actually going they're perforated, which is great because I I'm, I'm gonna actually tear these out and laminate it so that I can use a dry erase marker on those days that are super hectic and I have I've, I have used a few sheets of these and I also got this business card holder which I am using for my, some of my favorite Etsy shops and I haven't I, this was an add-on but I didn't use it uh, what was more important was this folder in I'll show you. See, here's my full sheet. You know, I just just cut that out. 
and it's going to be, see, it's much bigger than my planner, so I'm going to have to find a way to kind of cut it in half or something in order to fit all of my stickers in my, my new business planner. So, that is it. This is my 2018 planner lineup. I hope you enjoyed this really long video. Sorry, I'm like really long-winded. Um, I can't help it. That's just my personality. Um, I like to talk about things that I'm passionate about. And I tend to kind of ramble sometimes about it, but I can't, oh, I can't help it. But this is it. Just four planners this year, or I, technically three planners and a notebook. So um, I'm, I'm thinking that this is going to help me out and then maybe next year introduce another planner. And I'm hoping to introduce the gold planner because I really did like the Recollections gold planner. It's just um, I'm not going to buy something that it, it, that's not for me just yet. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and give a comment down below if you have any suggestions on how to use these planners, especially the monthly and like the special dates and all that stuff. Um, Comment down below and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks, everyone. Bye.